So, Jesus, the good shepherd, the one whose voice we recognize. But what is that voice that we recognize? What is the voice of Jesus? Now, the simple, easy answer to that might be, well, it's about love. It's about being kind to one another. And while that's very true, it doesn't get at the difficulties. It's very difficult for us to love others who might be different from us, who might think differently from us. We see that very much in the world right now. It can be very difficult for us to love one another. But it also, this, this simple answer, forgets the other part. That there's a lot of things that Jesus says that are sometimes confusing and sometimes can be uncomfortable for us to hear. Last week we got a little bit of that, um, the, the beginnings of the people who Jesus is talking to, the difficulties that they're having with what Jesus is saying, particularly when he says, I am the bread of life. They very much struggle with that statement. The religious leaders, of course, very much have troubles with what Jesus is saying. And even Jesus' own disciples are not certain what to make of what Jesus is saying. And again, as a plug for our Tuesday morning Bible study, this is something that we're talking about right now. This is something we see at the end of John. But the other Gospels have difficult passages for us, too. There are times that we might read some of these things that we hear in the Gospels and think, well, that's not my Jesus, but it is. It is our Jesus. It is our Jesus who is saying things that sometimes sound difficult to us, that sometimes are difficult for us to hear. Now, the way for us to deal with this problem is to think back on the the story that Jesus is doing, this image that he's giving us, the good shepherd. Because in calling himself the good shepherd, Jesus is calling us sheep. And sheep are notoriously stupid (laughs) animals. Sheep wander on in their own way, going far away from the rest of the herd. And that's why the shepherd has got to go and pick those sheep back up, bring them back in. We are often the same way. We go about doing our own thing. We go about following our own wills instead of God's will. And we do it even when that will, our will, can be destructive for us. Even when actually following God's will would be much better for us. So part of listening to Jesus is to really understand that we're not following our will any longer. Instead, we're following his will, Jesus' will, God's will. That's what hearing his voice means. That's what following his voice means. That we put aside our own needs and concerns, our own will, and instead follow God's will. Now, this doesn't mean that there aren't times that we may struggle with this, and we may struggle with what we hear in the voice of Jesus. That's okay. That's what we heard about about a month ago now, um, maybe a little more than that. Uh, for what Nicodemus does. Nicodemus goes in the night, talks with Jesus, and he struggles. He struggles to understand what Jesus is saying. 
but he stays there. He stays there with that struggle. And in fact, later on, he even talks with his fellow religious leaders and suggests that maybe Jesus has some points that we should listen to. Now for us, what helps in hearing Jesus' voice is we have examples of that already. We have the words that we have in Scripture that gives us very much a template so that when we hear something, when we hear a voice in the world, we can determine whether or not it's Jesus's or not. We also have tradition, the tradition of the church through many ages as we've all listened together to what it is Jesus is saying. And most of all, we have the gift of the Holy Spirit, that gift to listen and discern, to better understand what it is that God is saying to us. We have all these tools. So how is it that we hear Jesus' voice? Well, we take these tools that we have and we compare what we hear to it. When we hear something in the world, we think, does this match with what we hear in Scripture, in tradition, through our own interactions with the Holy Spirit? And that way we can determine, is this Jesus or is this another voice altogether?